Today, the Australian Sports Commission, the ASC, released guidelines for trans and gender diverse athletes, recommending testosterone limits be placed on athletes looking to compete in elite competitions. Now, those guidelines are non-compulsory and they allow for various sporting federations to decide their own limits for testosterone. But this would appear to be putting Australia at odds with many international sporting bodies, such as athletics, rugby union and rugby league, who have all moved to ban transgender women, i.e. biological men, from elite competitions that are designed for women. The ASC's guidelines also stress the need for inclusion and, well, who could argue with that? But as we know in this debate, too often the very real concerns of women about the nature of their spaces and their sports are silenced in the name of inclusion. Joining me now to discuss this is Senior Research Fellow at the Women's Forum Australia, Stephanie Bastian. Stephanie, welcome to the program. What did you make of the guidelines that were released today? Thanks for having me, Amanda. Great to be here. Uh, I think they're disappointing. They're, they really let down female athletes because they, the guidelines really emphasise a focus on inclusion of biological males in women's sport. Now, while they are only guidelines, uh, what I think you'll find is that they really don't empower sporting bodies to make to make decisions because uh, they allow, because of their emphasis on inclusion, it means that trans athletes can can challenge the decisions. And if we look at recent decisions where sex-based rights have been put to the test through commissions, for example, in Tasmania, a, a lesbian organisation wanted to hold an event for biological lesbians, those decisions have been ruled against sex-based rights. So I think these guidelines are going to make it more challenging for female athletes to access fair and competitive sport. And I think it's going to create enormous damage in the competitive nature of particularly elite sports for women in this country. We don't have long, Stephanie, but I'm conscious that it is too narrow to focus just on testosterone. What about the physical differences that are simply inherent to males and females, like muscle and bone density? Ah. Oh. Absolutely. I mean, this whole level, this whole discussion on the standard being testosterone is quite frankly ridiculous. You could pump every female athlete with the same levels as a, as a biological male playing as a female player, and they still won't match them on lung capacity, on bone density, on muscle mass, on endurance. Quite frankly, this is, it's, it's, it goes against the science of the, in the differences of the biology between men and women. It's, it's, it's a false standard. I'm so, I'm so sorry we have to leave it there, Stephanie. Thank you very much for your time tonight.